Good day everyone. So for today, let me teach you on how to earn free and limited access to Course Hero. So here, this is the Course Hero in our uh, being search in our Google Chrome. So you have two options. It's either you're going to sign in using your Google or sign in your email address. So if you already have account to your Course Hero, you can just simply use your Google to sign in. So just click google uh your google account or your gmail account then it will automatically log in and then you can have now the prompt page of the course hero so and let's say i'm looking for a science book so when i search for science book or let's say this one the saint thomas or the second document so here this is the document that i want to download However, as you can see here, want to read all page, you need to, okay, base here, you need to upload, study docs, or become a member. So, you have two options to read all the five pages. So, in order to do that, just simply click view full document and you will be prompt to this option here, this one. So, you have, you are going, uh, you need to subscribe in course hero or the other way is to upload your own study resources to earn to earn pre access so this will be our task so just simply upload to earn an unlocks so you need to upload 10 of your own documents to earn five unlock credits use them for accessing over 100 million study resources so Here's what are we going to do. We need to add at least 10 documents to un to have 5 unlocks. So how are we going to do that? So let's use ChatGPT to create our own documents. Simply log in in ChatGPT using your Google account. Continue with Google. And then after that, once you already sign in into ChatGPT, you will be creating prompt. So using ChatGPT, just simply search or create me a science reviewer. And then after that, just simply click go so science reviewer about let's say cells and then the chat gpt will now automatically produce the deeper the reviewer and now after the chat gpt are done uh, completing all the reviewer so what are you going to do is to uh, copy that reviewer so copy and then let's open another tab and let's go now to google and then search Google Docs, this one, the Docs. Let's open the Google Docs. And we are going to use this Google Docs to paste what we copy on ChatGPT. So search, I'll just write reviewer1 and then paste it. Paste the one that we copy on ChatGPT. And then after that, click file. And then... Go to Downloads and then create a folder. Name it Course Hero Documents. Let's rename Course Hero Documents. This is where are we going to uh, uh, transfer all the reviewers that we are going to create. So Course Hero Documents. And then after that, let's save or download Reviewer 1. Okay, it was already saved. And now let's go to Reviewer 2. So for Reviewer 2, let's go back to ChatGPT and write any prompt. So Reviewer about, let's say Reviewer about Atoms. Okay, let us wait for the ChatGPT and then copy it. And make the process until we created 
different reviewers. So just use ChatGPT, paste it to Google Docs, and then save it. That will be the process until we reach the last reviewer. Let's have the reviewer 10 because we need ton, we need 10 documents. So let's have reviewer 10 and then paste the one that we copy from ChatGPT and then save it. Download it and then once we already complete the 10 documents, let's go now to the folder and then let's copy reviewer 1 to reviewer 10 and then and then paste it inside the Coursera documents that we created a while ago. Then after that, let's go back now to the Coursera. So go to Coursera and let's add documents. Click add documents and then kindly open the Coursera folder and then paste or upload all the reviewer 1 to 10. So you can upload it. And then after that, uh, let us wait for it to be uh, fully verified and once it was approved by the Coursera then you will earn 5 unlocks so you will repeat and continuously doing this uh, process uploading of 10 documents and you will now earning 5 unlocks and then another 5 unlocks upload 10 documents earn another 5 unlocks so that uh, you can use or access different Coursera documents.